Okay guys, we're here at the fueling station. Show you how we fuel up. It's pretty simple. That equalizes the pressure between the pump and the truck. Hold on right quick, get my mileage. Uh, I'm gonna have to switch pumps. The receipt printer isn't working. And our department is a real stickler about receipts. So we'll move over right quick. Start the process all over. This is American Fueling Systems. This is the station I regularly use, which is real convenient because the transfer station is only two minutes away from here, if that, and I'm right on my route, so it works out very well. Try to get a little close so I don't have to stretch the hose too far. And we'll try again. And that's it. Theoretically, it should stop at 3600 PSI, but that all depends on the weather and a lot of other factors. But generally, it does uh, get pretty close. Every now and then, it will actually top off at 3600. But the thing about CNG, as soon as I leave the station, it's going to drop a few notches anyway. So anytime my fuel hand inside the cab is at three quarters, I'm pretty much full. And she'll run uh, pretty much all day depending on, on how hard I'm packing or driving. I usually fill up one good time and then top off at the end of the day. And since today's Sunday, knocked out one good load and there's only a few more left so I won't come back to the fueling station today see my little buddy here <laughs> I got riding partners everywhere my bear Tigger and a few others Charlie Brown and of course my little dirty Chick-fil-A cow <laughs> But that's pretty much it on fueling. It's pretty straightforward, simple. This is my side view camera.
uh, McNeilis actually shows a very clear picture. That's what I was telling you guys about earlier. For guys my height, you know, sitting over all of this stuff is a real issue out the back window. Originally, when we got these trucks, I had asked our department if they could switch all of this to the left side since the exhaust runs under the bottom. But they said it was a cost issue, so after a good meeting we had with drivers, supervisors, and whatnot, and the shop's uh, top people, they came up with this option for, for us, especially for guys like me. Because I would have to stand up inside the cab just to look over this stuff, you know, just to get a little, little peek over it. And it's not so bad, but that camera helps out a lot. And I'm kind of fortunate because I've seen a lot of newer diesels and their back window is completely taken up with all the exhaust crap for the regen systems. So that's one plus with the natural gas trucks. We don't have to have all of that. I always keep a shovel for my Walgreens. A lot of drivers, we're not required to clean up behind them, but I'm the type of guy I go, go the extra mile every now and then. And besides, I don't like their can to sit out for too long, you know, waiting on them to clean them up. So I clean it up myself, throw it in the compactor, and keep it moving. usually takes about 10 minutes or so and these pumps move pretty fast and that's it